No, Moo. Hey, listen. No. You get back. No. Get back. Moo. Moo. No. Baby. I'm going to bring you some more food in a little bit, but it's got to be when Moo's not looking, okay? That's right. He's a great uncle, but he's he steals food. Sorry. Sorry about that. That's a flaw. Yeah. We'll work through it. Love you. Good morning, beautiful girl. Hi, sweet Annabelle. Look what daddy brought us. Oh, she just watched you pour that. Mama. She, she only, this is the problem. Hey, her poop is good. Really? That's good news. Are you feeling better, baby? Annabelle, Annabelle, Annabelle. Give me a shade, baby. Aww. Are you gonna share with her? Moo is not very sharing in that realm. So far, the lessons that we've learned is that uh, Moo is a lot like Joey and doesn't share food. Yeah, Moo is Joey. There'll be no sharing of the snacks or breakfast with Moo. God, he's so big. I told Lester last night that, I mean, I don't spend a lot of time with Moo like they do. Mostly because I'm scared. Because if he stepped on my foot, I'd probably never walk again. But, oh, he did take a step over. Okay. Um, but I think that he's still growing. I think that if we measured him today, that he's taller than he was a year ago. And I'm not kidding about it. She can walk right under him. I know. That would be funny. So you have to get in her face with that? Like, you have to, like... You have an idea that you do it. All right. Yeah. She wants to be big and eat out of the trough, but she's not really there yet. Okay. Baby. So we've been a little bit worried about her. I know Jamie's talked about it. I've talked about it. I don't know if Jake's talked about it or not, but when she first came over, you know, a lot of cows can have an upset stomach from your ride over. And so she had a little bit of a, some scours. That's like diarrhea. And we haven't got that to harden up yet. It's been four days, which is kind of worrisome. About to watch right now. About to watch right now. Y'all might not want to watch, but I have to watch. I was encouraged last night because I watched her pee. Yeah. I watched her pee more than once, not like in a like weird way. But over the evening as we were out here doing chores and spending time out here, I watched her pee twice. And that to me was like, she's at least she's hydrated because if she wasn't peeing. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah. You know. But that right there, what right, that right there make you think? That wasn't a pee squat, that was a poop squat. Okay. I don't think that she's constipated. I don't think that's possible. But well, she's not lethargic. She's moving around good. She actually looks better than she's looked the last two days. Yes, she's looking better. But so what I was going to say is sometimes when your GI tract, even humans, gets inflamed because you are not well, you have diarrhea, whatever, your your body doesn't. It takes a while for it to heal. So you still get that urge to go. Yeah. But there might not be kind of like when you get the dry heaps, you know, okay. from yeah. the other end. So I don't mean to be gross or anything like that, but. Well, that's good. She's eating. I, I was going to say, she's That eating. grass is, I promise y'all, that grass is better for her than anything that you can buy out of a feed store as far as grains. Yeah. Good, clean grass. She got her medicine last night. She got her meds last night. Uh, everyone living. knows, you talked about how we took the horses and stuff off away so yeah. they can't be a threat to her and what's add si extra stress. What's silly, though, is the <laughs> she actually likes them. She runs to them for protection a lot, and which is very strange. She'll run to the fence line. And you know who came up to her and who is really, really attached to her through the fence already? Is Donkey Dan. Oh, yeah. Look, at Donkey Dan is already off here, like, watching her and is just so curious about her. And I think that that's so neat. I think if we can get her past this illness part or this inflamed part, then we can get her open to everyone else, you know. But I... Uh, well, everything's stacked against her when you think about it. I mean, yeah, she's had a great, loving home. We have a, 
you know, we have all kinds of an abundance of love, but she has to deal with this heat. Yeah. She had to deal with the move over here. That was, had to be traumatic. Not to mention she has to make new friends. Doesn't know who to trust. Then she comes to us with tons of uh, emotional, emotional yeah, because she's been scarred and she lost her mom. She's a survivor. I've said that since the beginning of what, a, what now, amazing story yeah. of survivor. Now she has tummy issues and so she's just really having to fight to adjust here. Yeah. I don't know if I'm repeating any of what you've already no, said no, no, in your I other videos. Here's I your camera. Important. Here's your camera. I think it's important to talk about. I think it's, I think for us to be able to just put a constant reminder out there of, it's not a flip of a switch that you can recover from all of that. And sometimes it sneaks back up on you at the weirdest times and in weird ways. So her mental stress is causing obviously physical ailments and that's harsh, but it's reality. Doesn't necessarily mean that there's an infection or anything like that. You blaming? Are you blaming your knee pain on stress right now? <laughs> no, but what, it's true. And you know, we have sent in her poop. <laughs> I'm sorry that I said it, Annabelle. I'm sorry. And uh, under the microscope, at first look, there's nothing. So they're sending it out for culture to see if there's any type of bacteria we need to be aware of. But so far, the diagnosis is simply stress. And we've got to de-stress that situation. And Will, can wait. you please announce her breed? Oh, Brahma, yes. When people say Brema, but it's Brahma. Yeah. And now the French one, you don't have to go with. Charl Charlay, Charloy, Charloy. Charlo I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Uh, I in my first in my first video, I said well, it. And I was, talk about that. Well, what I said was I was like it's Charloy or Chartreuse or people like Charcuterie. It, in other words, hey, I can't say. Hey, listen, they may call me Longhorn Lester, but I'm not a cattle man. I'm sending an ants or something. All right, just tell them, Jamie. They may call me Longhorn Lester, but I'm not a cattle man. He's a Longhorn guy, okay? He can pronounce that one. Oh, I want her so badly to eat. I want her to eat that grain. I know that she will. She got uh, her first full day in the pasture was yesterday, a full 24 hours. So today's day two. And being out here is a whole lot different than being in the stall, obviously. I, um, oh, that's so good. That's so good now. So that moo doesn't take it from her. She doesn't need a ton of green, but she needs some. And P.S. That's where her medicine is in. We tried last night to do a drench with her. That was our initial like, yeah, we should do that. But I realized really quickly that that was going to add more stress because it would involve putting a halter back on her and, you know, making her feel trapped. And I don't, that's not what we're going to do here. We need way less stress, and we need to de-escalate all of that for her. And we're going to, and we are. So it's great to see her eat. I put the medicine right on that top layer, and she's eating it. So in there, she has anti-diarrhea medicine. She also has vitamins, and uh, that includes B12, A, D, uh, I forget what's all in that, but it's called Power Punch and then uh, vitamin B12. No moo. Hey, listen. No. You get back. No. Get back. Moo. Moo. No. You big galoot. Sorry, baby. Here you go. There you go, baby. Don't you take her food. That's gonna be an ongoing issue. So what's gonna have to happen is Moo's gonna have to be fed somewhere where we can fence him off because she doesn't eat as fast. She's not as fast to go to her bowl. Obviously she'll learn, but we can't be having him run her off of her food all the dang time just because he's like 9,000 pounds. Okay, I'm being dramatic. I know you're not 9,000 pounds, but you really are the biggest animal that I've ever been next to outside of an elephant. You're kind of elephant size, which is terrifying. Yeah. Either way, seeing her eat makes my heart happy. 
she is pretty lively, which is wonderful. I saw her drink a lot yesterday. I saw her drink out of the pond this morning already. She has a black tongue, y'all. <laughs> God, I love her. Her face is just, I just can't get enough of it. I love when her ears listen to me. Look, there they did it again. And I love it whenever she just feels the need to make contact. Moo? Stop it! I'm sorry, baby. I'm not gonna let him take all your food. See how close she is? No! You big butthole! Stop it! Stop it! This isn't for you! Oh, wait! Moo. No, sir. I'm going to get my spanky stick out. This isn't funny. Here, Annabelle. Not here having a moment. And Moo's got to ruin it. Now you have it all over the floor there. That's mean. Yeah, look, I don't have any more. Go ahead, Annabelle. I left just a little bit in there for her. Aw, baby, you eat it. Go ahead. Okay, there's just enough left in there. So the key is, like I said, gonna be to lock Moo on the other side of a fence to feed him. So. But I don't know. She, that might freak her out, too. I don't know. Moo's going to get overfed for a little bit. It's the only other solution I have right now. Which is fine. It turns out his body... His body's got room for it. He's certainly not fat. He's just freaking giant. Not you, baby. Not you. You're beautiful. Don't worry. I'm... You can be mad at him. Just don't be mad at me. Okay, so that's even funnier. The underside of her tongue is pink. <laughs> the top side is black. You got a two-tone tongue. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I'll go get you more food. The thing is, is I poured some out on the ground over here that she'll probably find. She got the medicine part, which was important. It was the first little handful on top, and I saw that go directly in her mouth. Yeah, go steal it from Moo. Go see what he's got. Yeah, there's some right there. That's good news. I'm just happy she's looking for it. I'm happy that she's grazing. I really wanted to see her pee, but I'll wait a little longer for that. I won't make you guys wait longer for that because that happens to be weird. Sorry. <laughs> but today's going to be a good day. I'll be back out here in a little while. I'll go grab her some more food, and hopefully that'll happen whenever Moo is somewhere else. Hi, beautiful girl. I love you. I love you so much. And hopefully, hopefully, by the time that the vet gets that, uh, She's actually better. Annabelle. Sweet girl, we love you. We love you so much. Yeah, we do. We love you too. <laughs> Those poor babies. They get so neglected. They get so neglected, baby. What do you think about those noises? She's like, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you have a good morning, okay? I'll be back out here in a little bit with some more food. We're going to sneak it in so Moo doesn't see. Now, what you wanted to hear? Annabelle. Baby. I'm going to bring you some more food in a little bit, but it's got to be when Moo's not looking, okay? That's right. He's a great uncle, but he's he steals food. Sorry. Sorry about that. That's a flaw. Yeah. 
We'll work through it. Love you.